What's up, y'all? It's Jeffrey back here at Flippin' Profit. Just got back from uh, hitting up a few thrift stores. We went to three thrift stores today and we found a total of 20 items for about $60. So that averages out about $3 a piece. All of the items were clothing items except for uh, one electronic item. And man, it feels great to be able to go back to the thrift stores. Everyone's still wearing masks and gloves as they should be, you know, taking their precautions and trying to be safe. But a lot more of the uh, thrift stores are open up now. So it just felt really good to go and hit three of them in a row. Uh, feeling like things are getting back to normal and uh, for how much stuff I found pretty successful haul So um, yeah, super excited about it Can't wait to uh, get done editing this video for y'all and then I'm gonna start breaking those things down getting them ready Take some pictures and uh, get them listed on eBay pretty exciting, but uh, either way not gonna drag you guys along any further Let's go ahead and get into the video So the first finds of the day were these two Polo Golf by Ralph Lauren shirts for men. Both of them are size XXL. This first one we're going to look at is a solid black shirt. Even the um, logo on the front was black. But um, it was in very good condition. They're asking three bucks a piece for these. And like I said, this one was solid black and the one next to it was blue with green and white stripes going across the side of it. And both of them were in such good condition. I went ahead and grabbed them. Next, I did notice this Peter Millar shirt, but immediately also noticed the um, ink marks on the collar. There were just ink marks all over this thing. I'm not sure what happened to it. Maybe a leaky pen got mixed up in the uh, laundry hamper or something. I don't know. And then I even noticed the um, Country Club logo on the uh, sleeve of it. So um, didn't bother picking this up, which uh, is a shame because Peter Millar is a pretty good brand. And then the next shirt that we found is this Levi's shirt. It's a nice button front long sleeve shirt. It's got the Levi's label on the front next to the pocket. Pretty cool plaid design to it and it was in very good condition um, one thing I was a little not so sure about is if whether this shirt is single stitch or not by looking down at the tail of the shirt it looks like single stitch but around the um, pockets and the cuffs of the uh, sleeves and things like that it looked like they were double stitched or maybe it was just the single stitch method that was doubled up so I'm gonna have to do some more research on this I think this might be a vintage single stitch Levi's shirt either way for three bucks it's a really good find so I went ahead and picked it up and then scanning through the electronic section, didn't find much, but I did find this um, HP power adapter for a uh, printer, it looks like. It's the model number 09572269, which I find a lot. And this model number actually sells a lot for the HP um, power adapters. They had a dollar price tag on it, so for a dollar, I know I can flip that into 10 easily, and the shipping will be very cheap since it'll be able to ship first class, so I went ahead and picked this up. And over in the men's pants section, we found two pairs of American Eagle pants. Both of these are khaki looking pants or tan pants whichever way you want to call it one pair is the 360 extreme flex um, slim style pants they had a little bit of wear on them next to the uh, left pocket just a little bit of fraying and things like that but other than that they were looking solid great condition and the other ones are the made to last original straight pants for men and these were in even better condition no flaws with this one at all and they only charge three dollars for their pants here so these two were a steal and then as I was going through the rack some more, something popped out at me. I noticed, uh, I don't know if y'all can see that, the Tiger Woods there. But these are some Nike Tiger Woods Collection golfing pants. They did have a little bit of flaws on them, um, a little bit of grease stains next to the right pocket, as well as a little bit of dirt around the, um, the cuffs at the bottom of the pants near the heel area. I feel like I could probably use some of that cheap old Dollar Tree OxyClean and get most of these stains out. They're only asking three bucks for these pants and they could flip for a potential 30 if they're nice and cleaned up. So I I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. Even if I can't get them cleaned up looking brand new, I know I can sell them for at least 20. So this should be a good flip. Moving on to the next thrift store. This thrift store has a um, color tag sale and the blue tags were $1. And I was very surprised to find this Brooks Brothers shirt. It is a um, fitted dress shirt. It is uh, blue with some red stripes, nice long sleeve button front shirt. And for $1 in this great condition, a Brooks Brothers shirt, that is a steal. So yes, I went ahead and picked that up. And then when I walked inside the store, first thing I go to is the electronic section and was very surprised to find this Cricut Expressions um, decal cutter. It says that it works on the tag, but I'm pretty sure all that means is they plugged it in, made sure it powers up. I doubt they actually got to um, test the vinyl cutter, but for 15 bucks, I'm going to go ahead and take the risk and pick this thing up for myself. I personally was um, looking at vinyl cutters not too long ago, was thinking about doing some decals and some stickers and things like that. So um, to find this, even in the uh, rough shape that it's 
this in. It's definitely been used. Somebody got their use out of it, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up for 15 bucks. See if I can't get some ink and some vinyl sheets to test this thing out. And let's hope that uh, it works out and um, I'm gonna have some fun with it for sure. But back to work, checking out things. I looked at the women's shoes, didn't find too much. There were some uh, SAS brand shoes, but man, they were in really rough condition. So I passed on those. And then moving on into the uh, men's pants section, I immediately found these Levi's 505 regular fit black denim jeans. They're size 30 by 34 for men and they were in great condition. This thrift store does charge $4 for their jeans, but these black denim Levi's, they sell pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these and they should be a great flip. And then moving on down the rack, I noticed two pairs of these 36 WMZ Slim Fit Wrangler jeans. They look to show a little bit of wear on them, but honestly, I couldn't tell if that was wear or if it was the um, design of the jean, if they were supposed to look a little bit worn. Because looking at the tag and other things, even the um, leather label on the back of it, it was in very good condition. And any Wrangler jeans I find, I do look for that leather label on the back of them. It seems like those uh, have higher value to them and just are uh, higher in demand. Comps were looking pretty good on them, so I went ahead and picked up both of these pair for uh, four dollars a piece and then even further down the rack i found another pair of the same style 36 wmz slim fit they were in just as good a condition so why not go ahead and pick that one up too and then i noticed these american eagle prep shorts this uh blue with some stripes on it they were in great condition i believe they were asking three bucks for these comps were looking pretty good on them and uh, i know i'll be able to ship these first class when they sell so that should be very cheap so um went ahead and picked these up too and then we found another pair of Wranglers. These are a different style and different size as well. These are 35 by 32 for men. And if you notice, these are tan denim jeans, which uh, this thrift store normally charges $4 for their jeans, but I guess they saw these as pants because they were only charging $3 for these. And they were in very good condition, no flaws at all. They had the uh, leather label on the back of them. So for three bucks, I definitely went ahead and grabbed these as well. And then checking the men's shirt section, didn't find too much, but I was able to find this one cent shirt for men. It was size large. It was green with white stripes. It even had a nice blue label on the front of it. I kind of liked the way the uh, blue on the green was. Needed to uh, make sure and all the buttons were intact and didn't have any flaws with it. And everything was looking good. It was solid. So uh, for three bucks, I went ahead and grabbed it. On to the next thrift store. First thing I did was check out the electronic section. Did not find a thing. Then went through the toy section, also didn't find a thing. So we move on to the clothing section. And right away in the men's pants, I noticed these Tommy Bahama pants. Tommy Bahama is always a great brand for reselling. These are some nice khaki looking dress pants and they were flawless. Nothing wrong with them, great condition. So for $3.45, I threw it in the cart. Next thing I found were these Polo by Ralph Lauren dress pants. These are 55% linen and 45% cotton. That's what caught my attention right away just by the feel of them. I could tell I believe these were linen pants. Look at the tag and sure enough they are. It did have one little flaw on it, a uh, little dark spot on the right leg of it close to the knee. But other than that, they were looking great. Like I said, these are some dress pants. I looked up some comps and they were going for around 30 bucks, the um, linen style Polo Ralph Lauren dress pants. So for $3.45, I went ahead and picked these up. And then I found a pair of Levi's 501 jeans that were a, a big size, 40 by 34. And right away by seeing how good this tag looked, I figured these jeans will probably be in good condition. And they had one little issue on the front, but I'm pretty sure it's just a little, a little crusty. I can knock that off later. And once again, like those Wranglers earlier, I wasn't sure if these were actually like worn out or if this is the style of the jean. But I'm pretty 100% sure that these are rustic looking style Levi's jeans. I don't know if rustic's the right word for what I'm trying to describe here, but you get it. And based on the way the tags and everything else was uh, almost looking brand new, I don't think these jeans were worn very much. They were in great condition. So for $3.45, I added it to the cart. And then checking out the men's shirt section, we found this Polo by Ralph Lauren 2XL t-shirt. It's a nice tall, big and tall shirt. Just a uh, short sleeve polo shirt. It's like a dark charcoal gray shirt with a um, maroon logo on the front of it. And once again, very good condition, nothing wrong with it. So for $2.35, I went ahead and grabbed it. And then I was very happy to find, we revived myself from the uh, inked up Peter Millar shirt earlier that I saw that day. Here was a very nice long sleeve button front Peter Millar shirt with the crown on the logo. That's always a good sign. Crown logo 
Chicago Peter Millar shirts are in higher demand. It had a very nice plaid pattern to it, white, blue, and orange. It was a little wrinkly, but that doesn't mean anything. We can straighten that out easily. Nothing else was wrong with it. No flaws or any imperfections. So for $2.35, I went ahead and grabbed it. So that was everything we found in the thrift stores today. Like I said, I think it was a very good haul. We found some really good name brand stuff. Um, American Eagle pants, that Peter Millar shirt, and then not to mention the uh, cricket that I'm going to have fun playing with and learning how to uh, make decals and some stickers and stuff like that. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video today. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you're new to my channel and you want more tips on how to sell on eBay, then check out some of my playlists. I've got more trip to thrift videos like this one, what sells on eBay videos, and things like that so definitely check that out i really appreciate each and every one of you for watching my videos and until i see y'all next time keep flipping